Are you struggling with feeling stuck in your life journey? Does it seem as if the challenges or conflicts that you keep experiencing are on repeat? Healing through feeling could be your new way through to a more satisfying life. Now, here is the host of the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show, licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. Welcome everyone to today's show on nourishment. So many thoughts went through my head. Nourishment just came to me in a moment of all the news and all that goes on in the world every single day. And I was like, why am I taking this in? Is this actually helping me? Is this actually fostering more, you know, is this enabling? Like, where is all of this? So that's why I chose today's topic for nourishment. But I'm going to come back around. I just wanted to say hello and let you know what the topic was. And thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show. Feeling our feelings. Boy, oh boy, it has been an incredible week. It really has. I am still riding on the coattails of patience, and I can't begin to say enough for, for to all of you how incredible that show was for me and me just having patience with myself, first and foremost, and then patience with everybody around me. I am, I'm still on that high, if you will. So please please reach out to me. You can find me at Sharon Nichols um, at feeltoheal.com is my email. Please check out my website, feeltoheal.com. And I have a link to um, one of my um, favorites and one that I created um, myself on med- my meditation on um Oh my gosh, it's amazing what happens when you start to think about things and your mind just goes blank. And I was told to not have any fun and to always get everything right. So <laughs> your counsel of three, see, see what happens when you just take a moment and just allow and be present. Well, wow, there's so many different ways that I could have gone with that. So I've let go of beating myself up. I'm done with that. I just want to serve. I just want to help. Um, I can't say it enough. It is just who I am. It is actually, I will get more there. I will get more there. Boy. Just taking a breath. I'm going to slow down because, you know, just because, you know. Let's start with a meditation. I had thought about putting the meditation at the at the end because this is about nourishing and what you would nourish your, you. And after I spend, you know, about 40, 45 minutes talking about it, I thought it'd be nice to do the meditation at the end. And in conversation, I realized that actually having the meditation at the beginning does for me it slows me down and it allows me to be in the present moment. So since I am making it about me, we're going to start with a meditation. So receiving a breath and allowing your eyes to close if it is safe for you to do so. In through the nose and out through the mouth. getting settled in a comfortable position, either seated or lying down. Oh boy, do I wish I could do this laying down or sitting in my bed. Boy, would that be so much fun? Because don't we feel really safe in our bed? Because it's we're surrounded with all the colors and the pillows and the softness. And oh, I do, I love my bed. I say, oh. Every time I get into it at night. So coming back to the breath. 
and allow just a brief moment, checking in, noticing any areas of your body that are tense or that have a sense of holding. And breathing into them and softening those areas and adjusting them as needed in this moment. Bring awareness throughout your entire body. Breathing in and allowing a sense of vividness, awakening. Breathing out and releasing all that is not serving you in this moment into your space. And so for the next few minutes, just allowing, playing with that balance of being relaxed and awake. And if you find yourself drifting, you may want to integrate counting. because counting keeps you in the present moment. Counting your breaths, counting on your fingers. If you find yourself drifting, bring yourself back to your breath. Warming up the attitude of attention. Bringing in a sense of nourishing attitude. And if you'd like, placing, a hand, placing one of your hands on your heart and, the, and another on a part of your body, as this continues, as you do this, continue to naturally breathe. Feel your hand moving in movement with your heart and your abdomen. Whichever you like, just feeling the gentle touch of your hands there, the warmth of your hands sensation of the connection. Bringing awareness to this tender moment, to the tender connection of the breath to the body. And continuing to breathe. Now on the inhale, Breathing in the breath of nourishment. The breath literally nourishes your body and your mind, bringing oxygen into your body that sustains your life. Breathing in this nourishing breath, breathing out, softening relaxing into this moment. You may also want to consider what else you may be needing in this moment, in life in general. Love, strength, calm, ease. Acceptance. Breathing in whatever it is that is nourishing and that you're needing. Breathing out, softening, releasing, letting it be. Settling into this natural soothing rhythm that's been with you since you were born.
taking this moment to acknowledge yourself for creating this space of nourishment, having the intention of doing this for your own learning, your own health and well being. This is an act of self love. So just acknowledging yourself for taking this time. Allow your, your awareness to feel the rest of your body as whole. Sensing into your body as it is. Feeling nourished by your breath, by your thoughts. Just being who you are. When you are ready, allowing your eyes to open and coming back into the room, maybe rubbing your hands on your thighs if you're sitting in your chair or your arms, and just having that sense and feeling of nourishment just coursing through your veins, because it is so simple. We all really, really need truly oxygen and water and food every now and again to nourish our bodies. Thank you because I love meditation. Meditation. Meditation brings me to the present moment. And honestly, that's what I'm finding the most nourishing. I will bring it all back around. So in March, we did the March into Spring and we talked about birthing and we talked about the little seed and we talked about all the things that needed to happen so we could push through to get to the sun and the fact that we already know intuitively what we need to do as the little seed and so now that we've pushed through and we have the sun beating down on us and we know eventually the rain will come or water will happen. What is it that we need to do to continue to nourish our growth? So when we come back from break, I'm going to talk more about nourishment. Because nourishment is needed for growth. Because the, su the success of the harvest is dependent upon the growth of the crop and you are the crop see you back in a minute thanks so much for tuning in to the field to heal show with myself sharon nichols and we just completed the meditation and when we come back from break we're gonna deep dive deep dive <laughs> we're gonna dive deep into nourishment and how to nourish ourselves and i promise you part of my nourishing is going to be speaking properly see you back in a moment at different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? 
Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspirechoicesnetwork.com. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols. And today's topic is nourishment. And before the break, we I did meditation and talked a little bit about nourishment, and I realized that I left out movement. So for those of you who just listen, who are listening to the podcast, you missed my incredible chair dance. For those of you on camera, who are watching me on, on camera, saw me move and I kept moving as a way for me to remember to talk about movement. And this is how I stay present. And this is one of the things that I now realize I do for myself to nourish. So nourishment, the definition is the food or other substances necessary for growth, health, and good condition. So how you treat yourself in every aspect of your life. It's like taking exquisite care of yourself. It's how you talk to yourself and about yourself to others. How you take care of yourself at a very, very basic level. So it's it's here and then it's here. It's like, it's the whole gamut. And so it's about what you put in your body. It's about what you speak. It's about um, what you see. It's even, it's a lot about what you think. Whew. The things that we say to ourselves, we beat ourselves up I, I was the queen of beating myself up and I, you know, it's in, in researching this and in talking about nourishment, you know, I know I've talked about multiple times about how we have this, you know, the little girl, the little boy inside of us and how mean we can be to our inner child, our inner self, our the little one who we are still growing. And so it's, what do you do for you to nourish yourself and take care of yourself? It's bigger than just self-care. Um, and because it's, it's similar. I mean, obviously it all is similar. It's all about balance. It's all truly about the balance and nourishment. So the biggest thing that came to me as I was thinking about nourishment is cow. Now, I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming you can see this. Colette Baron reed The Wisdom of Avalon. I woke up thinking about this the other morning because I've been with nourishment and nourishment nourish, and I'm like, where did I keep reading nourishment? And I've been working with this deck um, for the longest time. And cow is, the first word is nourishment, abundance, asking, and receiving. And that was like, to me, that just became the mic drop and It's oh, it's it's about balance. Oh, 
for those of you who cannot see me and just hear me, I'm this 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 topic is so big and then also so narrow that I'm I, I'm 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 doing my best to to bring it around. Like I feel as though I'm just being so fluid right now. Um, I want to be more grounded, and that's I guess what. You know, it was just Earth Day on um, last Friday, April 22nd, and I thought a lot about Mother Earth and nourishing Mother Earth and, and how we need Father Sky, we need the sun, and we need the rain. In, in order for the earth, in order for us to live, in order for us to create, it, we all need each other. Like we all totally need each other. We cannot exist alone. So the little, the little sh acorn, sh you know, the little shoot that comes up needs the nourishment of the soil, the nourishment of the sun and the nour nourishment of the water. And I think a lot of people, when I say nourishment, at least the first thing, first place that I went to was food. Nourishment is so closely associated with food and even the senses that like, yes, food is very important. It provides nourishment for the body. Although what we take in is also really important. Like what we see, what images we take in. And I know I mentioned before, I now very rarely watch the news. If I do watch the evening news, I'll put it on at 18 minutes after the hour because that's when the weather comes on on my local news station that I like to watch. And then after that is sports. And then there's usually a human interest story. So there's something positive. And those, that's how I finish out the last, you know, 10, 15 minutes of the news. Because I truly believe that if something major happens in the world that I need to know in the moment, somehow it'll get to me. Of course, I do not bury my head in the sand. I'm not an ostrich. I do know exactly what is going on in the world when I need to know. Yes, I know there's a war going on. Yes, I know that there's always elections happening. Yes, I always do hear who has been born and who has passed on and all of it. Although I take it in bits and pieces and I take it in an, in, in a way so as to not throw me off, to keep me balanced, to just allow. to allow good nourishment. And good nourishment is also about healthy relationships. <sighs> hmm, healthy relationships. I know I've talked about that a lot in all different ways because it keeps coming back. All of my topics have always something to do with you and yourself and then you and how you communicate with others, what it is that you need, what they need, finding the balance. And there's always going to be a question. We are, we do, that's what we do as human beings. Um, we're human beings. So as a being, we question, we question, be, before even being a human doing. We question whether we should actually do what we think we should do as a human being. Let me unpack that one for a second. Wow, that was big. We actually question what we are going to do as a human being before we become a human doing. Because we are all human beings. And I'm assuming that you've heard this before and <sighs> grounding, anchoring, giving gratitude, 
for the soil, for the nourishment, for the oxygen, for the air that we breathe, for, for yourself, for your... <sighs> I'm thinking. So what does it mean to nourish yourself? Some of this may resonate, some of it won't. And so really, the beautiful thing about life is that you, we always have a choice. We always have free will as human beings, always. That's why maybe 95% of the time, you may know exactly what someone is going to do or say, although there's still that 5%, which sometimes can outweigh the 95 with regards to free will. So you can choose always how you're going to nourish yourself. And, and going back to me with the news thing, I have beat myself up over time and, I, and thinking, well, I should know that, like, I should have known that that's what happened, or I, and again, there's the shooting. And I am so at peace now with myself. Because I truly know that the way that the universe works is that as long as I am being present, and being in the moment, so I'm not stuck in the past or worrying about the future, I will get all the information that I need in the moment. It's about faith and trust. So what does it mean to nourish yourself? Obviously, we, I mentioned food. Eating high quality meals with lots of whole foods, Makes sense. We've heard this. We know this. But you want a balanced diet of complex carbs, proteins, healthy fats, and veggies and fruits because we want to keep our blood sugar level and normal. So maybe that our hormones won't be so wacky. You know, these are the obvious. Um, obviously, it does need to be mentioned that, of course, you are what you eat. Hmm. You're also what you see. You're also what you think, what you hear. <sighs> Thank you so much for listening. To myself, Sharon Nichols, Feel to Heal show, today's podcast show, production love it all it is about nourishment and so when we're going to take a short break and when we come back i'm going to talk more about some of the things that you can do to nourish yourself see you back in a moment at different times on our life journey we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through what if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface by tuning in to feel to heal with sharon nichols show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols, you'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. 
This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoheal.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, on the Inspired Choices Network. Yay! Woo -woot! We were talking about nourishment. And just before the break, um, I was talking about some of the things that you can do for yourself. And obviously the first and the obvi most obvious one is what you put in your body. So before I get into more specifics, let's talk about what are some sources of nourishment. First one is stillness, being still. taking a moment to stop, receiving a breath, being present. Stillness is important because it allows you to nourish yourself with right here, right now. To deepen your well of stillness and calm, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of your body, meditating. That's why I started with the meditation because it was how I nourished myself. I know I said that before and that's why I'm bringing it back around because it's exactly what I needed, stillness. I can't say enough about it. It is something that I do on a regular basis. I stop. Take a breath. And listen for the stillness. Listen for the quiet. Listen to my own breath. vision as another source. And I know I mentioned, you know, what we see, because how many times have you said or heard, can unsee that. So yes, of course, it has to do with what we actually watch on television or movies or even podcasts, or YouTube are all of it. And your vision is also about your insights and what you see within yourself. It's what gives you inspiration and guide, guides you for your daily actions. So it's your choices that align with your values. And it gives you, it continues to give you a sense of purpose and your own integrity. It's about developing your senses of being an observer of yourself. Although not being separate, still being a part, it's like it's both. It's being, it's the balance. It's watching what's happening and also being present into, as to what is happening. So it's really important that you sit up straight and that you ground yourself in the moment, that your posture is really important. I mean, I know you can't see me and how I'm sitting. However, I sit as straight as possible because it allows me to have the most clarity. Because as soon as I go like this, first, my producer is going to yell at me because my banner is now across my face and me sitting up 
gives me the anchoring and the strength that I need to be able to be present, to be here, to be the observer, to be, to nourish myself. So I can then now share of myself. So part of what is nourishing for me is being of service and sharing of Sharon. And that's why I love my name. I am so grateful that my parents did name me Sharon because I just share. And I always have, I've always shared. I've shared my thoughts. I've shared um, my warmth. I've shared my, um, my sadness. I've shared of myself. I've shared the whole, the balance. I've shared what I've learned. I've shared what I know. I've also shared what I don't know. <sighs> it's one of the ways that I nourish myself. Because your experiences, your thoughts, and your emotions, they all carry an energetic charge. So you want to set yourself up always for the win-win. I nourish myself by setting myself up for win-win situations. Used to be the queen of the lose-lose. Oh, yes. Taking everything personally. Making assumptions. Watching shows. Watching the news. Continuing to keep me the victim of me keeping me the victim of my life, of those around me. And so I have found that the best way to nourish myself is to separate myself from that. Separate myself from the perceived negativity. The... Yeah. The no longer being a victim. As I know I've said before, it's a it is for sure about taking responsibility for those moments where I have um done wrong. Um meaning that I caused someone to feel as though they are now a victim of the circumstance or the victim of me because of sure uh, my intention is never and I can say that to create the negativity sometimes it's a byproduct sometimes I don't even realize I'm doing it because you know why I'm human just like you are oh don't have fun Sharon mm -mm, no fun no fun no fun So here's the biggest thing, I shouldn't say, one of the biggest thing, because I'm always gonna keep saying, here's the biggest thing. It's one of the biggest things, discernment. Now, I think I've talked about Richard Rudd and the Gene Keys and discernment. And I just wanna read one line that I think is so truly important about discernment because Discernment begins at an individual level as you become, as you come to see how deeply your view of others is connected to your feelings. Only when personal feelings are witnessed and examined can you begin to see things in a more objective manner. Over time, your personal agendas become more lucid and you reclaim the ability to listen to others and the world from a broader perspective. Can you imagine actually, if you actually started to discern and you were able to separate out what actually belonged to you and then what belonged to the other and how that actually could nourish you? <sighs> Thank you, Richard Rudd and the Gene Keys. I, 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 you know what? Eventually I probably will do a show 
on on the Gene Keys and Richard Rudd because he too is all about being unique and it's about the 64 codones. It's about your DNA. It's about you being human. And then it's the balance of the mind and the body and the soul. And it's about what you experience, you know, in utero and then out of, you know, being out in the world and growing and how you can nourish yourself and what you can learn about you. That's one of the things that I know I've said before in terms about human design. It's such a great way for me to explain you to you. And so I've done a deep dive into human design for me to understand myself better and then how I work and how best to make decisions. And same thing with the gene keys. It's all about the codons and your DNA. So another source of nourishment, of course, has to do with connection and all levels of connection with regards to yourself and the planet, the, all the living beings, the animals, the plants, anything that, that is alive. Even the little, the little creepy crawlies, <sighs> all levels of in in interconnectedness provide nourishment. <sighs> the source is the one. This source is the one that can break the spell of self-absorption and help you reconnect with your heart and yourself and your own caring. Because if you can get out of your own head and get out of your own way by connecting with another living being, even if it's just a tree or a rock, because some people do believe that rocks are beings, because of course they all have energy. Everything on this planet has energy. Even this one. Your computer, all plastic has energy. That's why so many people put little signs or they write on their bottles positive words or they drop crystals into the water to, to change the, the alchemy of the water and then therefore then the plastic as to what you're ingesting. Again, it's all about what you're nourishing yourself with. I'm not having any fun. I was told to not have fun today. No, I'm kidding. I am having so much fun because nourishment has been something that I think we also neglect. I think we we forget about ourselves. And it's truly, again, about being our own oxygen mask on first. So then we can take care of others. So when we come back from break, we're going to talk a little bit more about nourishment and we're going to wrap it all up. And thank you so much for listening to the Field to Heal show, talking about nourishment, putting on your own oxygen mask first. So nourishing yourself first so then you can be of service and be connected to the rest of the world. First to yourself, then out. See you back in a moment. At different times on our life journey, we can feel stuck and struggle with seeing our way through. What if the answer to the struggle is just to go deeper than the surface? By tuning in to Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show, with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. You'll receive insight and guidance on exploring your feelings in order to heal yourself. Are you ready to create a more satisfying, peaceful, and successful life? Listen for the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols show every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show with licensed marriage and family therapist and life guide, Sharon Nichols. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. 
You can also ask questions or comments by email by sending to Sharon Nichols at feeltoyield.com. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, and thank you so much for listening to the Feel to Heal show with myself, Sharon Nichols, and today's topic is nourishment, and just talked about all of the sources, or I should say not all, some of the sources as to where you can find nourishment for yourself. And so the obvious, like I said before, with regards to what you can do in the moment, like here's some concrete things to do. Obviously, what you put in your body is of utmost importance. So I do know that when I go on my one of my binges with some of my favorite foods like potato chips and pretzels, that I don't always feel the best afterwards. I enjoyed it as it was happening because that's a whole other issue. (laughs) Although putting healthy, um, putting healthy food in, I, I, you know, exactly what I'm talking about. You know, it was just a holiday and I make a mean brisket. And one of the reasons why I know it tastes so good is because I, and I think that's also where, that's where the cow came from for me too. That's where nourishment came from. Because as I was, let's see, I had the card backwards. Nourishment, cow. Because I totally massaged this, the piece of meat. I, I gave gratitude. I, I thanked it. I, I put so much love and so much caring and 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 just wanted the, the this piece of meat to know how grateful I I I was to it for giving its life so that it could sustain me and my family and my friends and that's why I know a lot of, a lot of my meals that are very, very basic, basic taste really good because I put my heart, I put my love, I put my gratitude into the food to change the property. So then when it goes in, when I'm eating it, it's nourishing. I mean, I, you know, yes, we, I'm sure we've all experienced food poisoning at some point in our lives, and probably yes, because it's been an organism that we've eaten, although it's because we ate something we shouldn't have eaten. Think about that. And it's our body's way of rejecting, and our body's way of telling us, no, no more, no thank you. So... Like I said in the beginning, it's about nourishing your mind and your body and your soul. So your mind is what you think and what you what you see, and your your body obviously can I I won't say it again. Food, what you put in it, literally. And then there's your soul. And so what nourishes your soul? Creation, creating, being of service, genuinely being of service, being present in the moment so you can genuinely be of service. And as I mentioned before, I... I don't always do this, although I know this is something I should do. So yes, I'm shitting on myself because I don't always get as much sleep as possible. So again, this is about your body. It's about unplugging. It's about taking yourself away and allowing yourself to nourish. 
So then it's also about movement. So yes, these are about the body, about movement and also nourish yourself by taking time to speak to friends and being there for them and or sharing ideas, having deep conversations, being intimate mentally. And then of course, physically, that's always, always a good thing for nourishment. We'll, not, we'll, we'll always, we'll always say yes. We'll always say yes to that because that's really, really important. You honoring yourself. Showing yourself the same respect that you would show someone else. How often do we not nourish ourselves in this way? How often do we talk to ourselves in unkind ways? Please be kind. Get out into nature. Just walk. Walk barefoot, even if you're just walking on concrete. Allow yourself to get into the sun. Nourish yourself. Vitamin D, yes, we all still need it as human beings. And meditate and journal. You know, you can always go back and listen to the beginning of my show, of this show in particular. Just remember to breathe. Just being in the stillness, honoring the moment, allowing yourself to be nourished with the oxygen, with your breath. The oldest healing modality, two of the oldest healing modalities on the planet our breath and sound. So listen to your favorite piece of music, one that is soothing rather than harsh. Although that could also be what you need sometimes in order to express and allow and express gratitude. Be of service. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for allowing me to nourish you, to give you some ideas of how you can nourish yourself. Be reminded of the things that you could, and I'm even going to say should, be doing for yourself. Creating this happy still environment for yourself. So next week's show is going to be on procrastination. What have you been putting off? What have you been putting off? So what have you not, what have you been postponing to not allowing, not, in not allowing yourself to actually live your purpose, to be your creation, to live as you want? What have you been allowing to not, what have you been allowing yourself to not do? What thoughts, what things do you actually do? All of it. Thank you so much for tuning in today and listening to Nourishment. I so look forward to seeing you all next week back here again. Feel to Heal Show, Inspired Choices Network, Sharon Nichols. Love you all. Thank you for choosing to listen to the Feel to Heal with Sharon Nichols Show. Sharon Nichols will return next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Mountain, and 3 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, give up the struggle, feel all you need to feel, and make this week your best one yet.